Listen here. Having friends in our lives is the most sweet thing that a human being can have. But I want to tell you the reason why having friends might even make your life more miserable. My name is John Gora. I'm a life coach. And if this was your first time here and you love what you'll hear here, don't forget to subscribe and become a community. Let's build a big community and spread the love, spread kindness and spread good vibes across. Now, let's get back to our topic today. The moment you have this kind of friends that I'm going to talk about in life, you have to make a U-turn or some people call it about turn and find the reason why you need new friends. Look, if you have friends who look up to you and you can never look up to them, every kind of advice that works for this group of friends comes from you. In other words, you have outgrown your group. Like you are the one who must make that decision. You are the one who must come up with that solution. A signal is being given to you that you need to find a new squad. You don't want to be the best every time in a group where you are. You want some time to give a listening ear. You don't want to talk every time. You want to sit, listen and take notes. If every time you are the one giving people notes, you have to think about your circle. Number two, if you have these friends who, like, they can never contradict what you talk about. Whatever you do is always perfect in front of them. The way you spend your money is all just perfect. The way you treat others, it's just perfect. The way you dance, it's just perfect. The way you dress is just perfect. You know, they're always just giving you that, oh, you look nice. You are good. You did it right. You are right on this. You have to make a bow turn. Make a U-turn and find out what is the problem. You see, when friends cannot see your mistakes, it means they have become your enemies. You see, there are these friends that even when you overspend, they can never tell you to stop it. In fact, they feel good because your overspending is making them to get treated. You see, sometimes we need enemies in our lives because at times we make wrong decisions and the friends that are so much, uh, that have invested a lot of trust in us cannot see those mistakes. You know, you get into a, this kind of a group or a squad or a fanatic mood of, um, of, um, of a politician and, and, and their followers, where when a politician makes a certain decision or makes a certain, um, you know, um, a phrase, they are always right. You don't want to make your squad, your circle, as that of a politician and their followers. You want to have a circle where you can be corrected. You want to have a circle where somebody can stand and tell you, John, no. You want to have friends who can see it before you even see it, and they can come and correct you. That's why sometimes you're having friends, but you're not growing. And you're thinking that it is your enemies that are trying to derail your growth. But it is not. It is your friends because every time you bring an idea, even when it's wrong, they're just supporting it. You have to think again. Number three, there are these friends who will never ever discuss ideas. They will discuss events. They will gossip about other people. They will bring you collections of new brands of things in the market. They will always bring you those news that are not much worth your ears. They are friends, yes. And what they are doing, they are not doing it on bad faith. They are doing it from a good heart. Like that is what they can do. That is where their hands and their energy can flow towards. You've got to rethink. You need friends who can discuss ideas with you. You need friends who want to put something new into your head. You need friends who are going to push you to do something extraordinary. 
You don't just want to be a mediocre. And, um, you know, uh, one preacher once said that when you want to be a mediocre, you want to do things the same way. You want to breathe like them. You want to dance like them. You want to walk like them. You want to spend like them. You want to invest like them. You are not going to be an extraordinary. You will remain to be just the ordinary person. My name is John Gora. I'm a life coach. If this was your first time on my YouTube channel, why don't you just subscribe and also push the notification bell so you can always be reminded when I post videos here. We keep smiling. You can smile with us.